Today I'm going to be talking about how to add a simple text separator or divider between your scenes or sections in Scrivener 3 for Windows. Now, this is based on characters you can find on the character map, which you can bring up under Edit and Writing Tools. Not all characters will work or work well, so test out what you're doing and don't go for something too weird. The advantage of this type of divider is that, as it's not a picture, you won't get white space around it, which is a bit jarring when you read an ebook with a background other than white. However, it's obviously less decorative and more limiting. So go to Compile and you'll probably know what I'm going to say first. You have to duplicate and edit the format you're going to change. But by now, if you're following these videos in sequence, you may already have one you can simply edit. What you need is the separators option in the left hand column. As you can see, there are default separators set between folders and text files, but you can add specific dividers between section layouts with the list beneath it. Different formats will have different options as default. The separators you can use start with a simple single return, an empty line, a page break, and then there's custom. So those first three you probably wouldn't think of so much as separators, but that's what they're classified as here. One thing you probably shouldn't do is mess with the default page breaks, especially with ebooks, because those define the table of contents. Once you choose custom, you can type into the box. The biggest issue will be working out where the separators need to go and making sure you're using the right section layouts. Here I'm just going to use a simple keyboard character. I'm not sure in what circumstances you might require an override separator, but you have that option. The blank line separator, however, is an interesting option for your text. This allows you to put blank lines into your manuscript and to have Scrivener insert a separator there. This means you could possibly have more than one separator in each section, which might be useful for non-fiction. Or you may just prefer to have all your text in one document rather than splitting it in which case this option will work for you. And of course, down the bottom, you can change the font of your separator. Note that you only have text fonts, not all the windings, for example. So let's see how this turns out. And there we have our two different types of separators in our text. Next time, we'll be delving into more decorative separators.